Okay, so in this video we're checking out the Cadex Nebula Micro Camera. This is kind of an interesting camera. It is very similar to the Nebula Nano. In fact, it's the same sensor, the same uh, 1000 TV line Sony sensor that was in the Nebula Nano. Uh, but now this one can do digital and analog. And you may think that this is kind of a useless product, but I thought about it a little bit more and maybe this could be a good camera to get if you're thinking about going to digital maybe in the future but you are in the market for getting a new camera and want to try it out this camera the sensor here is pretty similar to the very low latency uh, foxy or predator sensor so it's the image is kind of similar to the predator and from the analog side but i'm not going to be showing you the analog image in this video uh, they're going to be Cadex is going to be doing some software updates to this camera to improve the analog image a little bit more so that um, it'll look better because it, eh, it, it didn't look so great in my opinion. Now the digital image is different uh, in this version versus the Nebula Nano. They've taken the feedback that was given on the, the Nebula Nano when it first came out and obviously there were a lot of issues with the image in terms of like the haze and the the over the, the basically the overreactive wide dynamic range that was going on the over processing of the image in the nebula nano so they've made some corrections and you're going to see that in this image here that's coming out of this camera so this is the same sensor but obviously in a micro size with a different lens so the image is a little bit different but they've changed the software so I believe the next version of the Nebula Nano that's coming out will have the same software, so you'll get this image. It's um, definitely an improvement over the Nebula Nano image, the first version of the Nebula Nano. Um, there's a little bit of that haze still kind of there. I think that has to do with the way the sensor works. And if you've ever seen like the early generation of the Predator cameras, that was there quite a bit in, in analog form. Not And it's actually in digital, you can see it more. But... You can see for yourself this image is much better than it was before. You said that at the end of the video, but let me just show you what this weighs first. It's 19 millimeters by 19 millimeters, but I weigh it's a standard micro size with your standard three pin connector and your connector for your OSD connect or the joystick so you can change your settings. But this is what the camera weighs no connector, 5.9 grams. And just for comparison, here's the uh, DJI camera with no connector on the back. And this weighs 9. 0.4 grams, so it's mm, like 4.4 grams more. And then um, this camera came like this. Basically, if you take the cover off here, there's a connector in the back for the DJI cable to go to your air unit or your Vista. Uh, so I've removed that since I was testing it out in analog recently. And um, but uh, uh, if you plug this into your Vista. Just take the cover off with these two screws and just plug it in, put the cover back on. And then obviously this will be connected to your Vista or Air Unit, then you'll get to your standard DJI image like you do with the uh, DJI camera. So anyway, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, flight footage. Let me know what you guys think of the image compared to the original Nebula Nano. You, I think you'll find that it's a much improved image. Um, but of course, if there's additional feedback, let me know. And I'll have another video later uh, showing you the analog image after they've um, sent me the updated version with the improved analog software on the camera.